Howdy, folks. I'm David Greer, and uh, we're all gathered here to talk about Doc Watson and rejoice in that wonderful music that he made. And uh, one of my favorite records of his is called uh, Memories. And it was great because it was a double album. So it was twice as much Doc. <laughs> and I really like that. Let's see. I'm going to do a song called Pear Tree off of that record. It's really good, but uh, I guess I should tell you a story. Uh, I had met Doc Watson a, a few times, and one time in particular was at the Rocky Grass Festival. We were backstage, and I was playing guitar, and he's listening, and we started talking. And I told him, I, saw, I said, you know, one of my favorite songs is that song that Merle had written called uh, Thoughts of Never. And he said, oh, do you play that? And I said, no, <laughs> no, I don't. He says, why not? And I said, well, it's, it's too heavy a tune. It's a, it's a great tune, and there's a lot of feelings and emotion for me in that tune. And I don't want to hear myself butcher it and hear it played poorly and mistakes all through it and all. He goes, well, here, let me show you. He took my guitar, and he put the capo on the second fret, and he made a C chord. And I knew all that part. <laughs> and then he played it, and it looked so simple. And I still haven't attempted it. I don't want to. I like to hear it, but I don't want to play it. And that was one of my favorite Doc stories. That he played Thoughts and Ever for me. Beautiful, beautiful tune. I hope you all go check that out. It's on the Memories record. I think it's out on CD now. But back then it was on a record, and it was a two-album deal. And Thoughts of Never. Merle had written, but this is another tune <laughs> off that same record. He did it as a medley. He did it, I think, I don't even remember, but this is one of them. It's called Pear Tree. How's that for exact? <laughs>
Pear Tree. Pear Tree. I always thought that was a nice tune. Kind of simple tune. Not real fancy. It's not jazz, which is beautiful. Um, oh, I got to tell you this other story. I, I got Doc Watson's phone number. I'm not to tell you who gave it to me. They, I promised them I wouldn't tell, and they were adamant. Don't tell Doc where you got this. I won't. I won't. I really won't. And they gave it to me, and I called Doc up. Got up the gumption, you know, and it was afternoon. Might have been three, three in the afternoon, two, three, something like that. Ring, ring, ring about three times, four times. It rang, and then he picks up the phone. And he was more gruff than I thought he would be. Hello. It's like, oh, goodness. Hello, Doc. This is David Greer. What are you calling me for? Can't you see I'm working on the van? It's like, no, actually, that's not how a phone works. <laughs> and then he was just like, I need to get back to this. Okay. It was nice talking to you. Goodness gracious. All that worrying and wondering how this is going to go, just to, it was kind of funky. But I heard another story. My father told me a story. My father was at a party. I believe it was at either Alice Gerard's house or Mike Seeger's place or something like that years ago. And they were all sitting around a table, you know how you'll do, picking and telling stories and drinking, probably eating. You know, just a party as they go. And Doc was there. And somehow, one of them said, you know, this clock, this doesn't work. I'm going to throw it out. And Doc said, well, let me see it. And they gave it to Doc. He took it apart and put it back together, and it worked beautifully. A clock. Man, that's just amazing to me. I couldn't build a birdhouse. <laughs> And he's taking a clock apart and putting it together. He swore it was true. He said, no, I sat there. We all sat and watched him as we were talking and hanging out. He put that clock back together, and it worked perfectly. Also heard he built a fence, and in, in the it was straight as an arrow. I, I marvel at that stuff. I can't do any of that. There was no limitations for Doc. Anywho, I'm going to play one more. It's called The Black Mountain Rag. I think he had pretty much the definitive version on this. Doc was killer on The Black Mountain Rag on everything, but this is the one that was really hot, really hot picking by Doc. See if I can do it for you now, The Black Mountain Rag. <laughs>
Black Mountain Rag, Doc Watson. Thank you all. Take care.